Whew. Uh, I haven't had breakfast. This is good banana. Oh, you can just keep it on. I'll just follow. Yeah. Yeah, pretty big day tomorrow. We haven't raced in like a while. Uh, we're gonna be going down to Kansas. It's low elevation, so a great opportunity to run fast and everything. But there is a very unfortunate turn of events. Only four of us are going as far as the guys team. Me, Corey, JJ, and Ty are the ones who are going. There's been like a plague of sickness going through the team. So because of that, we're not able to take a full squad, unfortunately, but still super grateful I'm able to go and have an opportunity to run fast and you know just race. So it should be fun. Um, me and Corey about to head over there right now and get on the bus. Got the club. You can't, you can't be trusting nobody around here, man. Corey knows. <laughs> We got like a bunch of like pumpkins in here, brushes, paint to like decorate pumpkins and everything. I'm about to make my pumpkin real quick. It's very quick and simple for my pumpkin. I'm gonna do it all caps. Bam, we are done. Champ. There's my pumpkin, and there's Corey's pumpkin. I don't think Corey's is finished though. Let's show you guys this Corey's when he's done. Getting ready to head to bed here soon. Thought I'd give a little bit of a 
pre-race talk beforehand. Uh, so far, this is the third race of the season for me. My previous video was the uh, rest best for me. It was all right. It was a it was a rest buster. And then our most previous race was our home meet. I didn't film that one, but for me, that one was a pretty good race. I definitely raced a little bit more riskier in that one. I think it turned out pretty well. I think I could definitely take a lot away from that and race even better in this one tomorrow. Uh, we went over the course today, and it's not super fast in my opinion, but it's not bad. It's all grass. There's you know some inclines and declines, and uh, but overall, it should still be a pretty good course to run on. I don't really like to put like big time goals for cross country because you know all the courses are different and everything. There's just so many different factors. But I am expecting a pretty decent PR um, just based off my fitness recently and how the season's been going. It's been going pretty well, and I'm starting to sharp up a little bit. I feel like so. Oh, we got Corey. Corey just walked in right now. I'm doing a little pre-race talk. As I was saying before, I was going to show you Corey's pumpkin when it was finished, so here it is. There's the face on this side. The other side is the mountains. And then a little circle on top. Oh, like when you cut it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that was right the idea. There. I don't know if I wanted to add that, but oh well. You want to do me a favor and actually make sure that's focused? Because if it's not, I have to redo this whole thing. Alright, uh, where was I? Uh, out of homie, I ran 24... 22 at elevation but that was for a 7.8k a little short on the course coach was saying that might actually be pretty similar to what a sea level time would be so if that is accurate then i think 24 30 or under is a pretty good range for me if i was to put a time goal for tomorrow as far as placement i think i would want to definitely be the top 15 i really don't know what the competition looks like exactly i know there's going to be some quick guys uh, we're all going to be going doing a shake out at 6 15 tomorrow so Gonna have to get up bright and early and then have a good chunk of time before your race, which is at 10.45. The four squad is gonna be representing hard tomorrow. We do have the whole girls team here as well. They got a full squad. Hopefully they get a good scoring tomorrow. But yeah, whatever happens, happens tomorrow. And then after this, gonna get a, another good training block in, getting ready for championship season. That's where the uh, real athletes start to show up. <laughs> Me. All <laughs> talk, no I know, I'm just saying all this, it just blows up in championship season. <laughs> I haven't even sharpened up yet. Just wait till I sharpen and it's over. This is just dull blade me. But once I'm sharp, it's over. But yeah, that's pretty much it uh, for me. And yeah, I'm gonna, be, I'm gonna be head to bed here soon, so. I know, dude. That, that's the worst thing about those jackets. No! No! Uh -oh. <laughs> that, that one dad. <laughs> Ready to go. We got these old boys right here. Tons of miles in these boxes, so using them. Thank you. 
Me and Noel went out in front. Two miles in, I was dead and, and it was hurting. I was like, all right, I'm gonna finish this race as hard as I can. I kept trying to push and then it, I lost it all. The arms went dead. The core started, felt like I got punched. Oh, do you have abs? Not anymore, they're, they're actually they're gone, gone now. Yeah. That was rough, that was really rough. Yeah. I don't even think I was really racing after halfway. But they went out kinda slow, I feel like. They slowed down, like. They went out kinda slow. The guys in front knew what they were doing. And they just pushed it after that. Yeah, and then we tried to go with them, kinda, and it broke us. Me and JJ got the tempo going. We're dying. I'm dying. Coach is brutal. This side is hurting. <laughs> I don't want to do anything. Yeah, I definitely slowed down this like I had. Because it was like 24 and 20, or 12 and 22, I think, for halfway. Maybe this shouldn't be in the frame. Uh, it's been about two weeks since the meet and I'm here just to give a quick post-race recap. To start off, um, it wasn't a great day. It wasn't a good day. Maybe an okay day, maybe. I mean, I knew that it wasn't gonna be a super fast course. Even before we went to the meet, I seen a map of the course and I seen a description online and I knew it was gonna be a little tough. I just didn't think it was gonna be that tough. During the race, those hills really got to me. Uh, just a quick walkthrough for how the race went for me. Uh, JJ and I got out with that front pack and we were right there in the front. Uh, we were kind of forced to slow down the pace because the guys right in front of us were slowing down right away. They definitely knew what they were doing. They knew what was coming. And yeah, the hills weren't too bad in the first loop. It was a two and a half loop course. The second loop, that's where things started to go downhill. That's where I really started feeling it. Came through the halfway point. Coach told me the time was 12.22. First thing that came to my head was that there's no way that I can negative split that. And which is, it's, it's typically not a high race. You know, typically I, I'm pretty consistent throughout and I even start cutting down towards the end but oh man every hill that came it was just like a little bit after the hill I think I recovered but then another hill came and then boom I was just out of it again and honestly in the second half of the race I wasn't even really racing I was kind of just trying to survive and my main focus at that point was just to not slow down more because I, I already slowed down a bunch so I was just trying not to like continuously slow down I was just trying to hold the pace I was going and just hold it until the end as soon as I finished the two loops I had half a loop to go I was like okay I'm almost there, just gotta hold on. Maybe I could try catching some people. Uh, no, there's really nothing left in the tank for me. Coming into the last like 600, I was just trying to squeeze any amount of juice I had to just try to finish strong, somewhat strong. And yeah, I came through the line at 24.50. I was expecting to see a much slower time on the clock, but I ended up coming away with the 15 second PR. And another surprise is I actually came in top 15. I, I did not expect that at all, considering how the race was going. I came through the line and shortly after I finished, uh, some guy handed me a top 15 t-shirt, which was cool until it got stolen. What happened was, is, you know, I sat down on the ground, I put the t-shirt on the ground next to me, got a drink of water after a while, came back, sat down next to JJ when he was finished. And then when I got up, you know, I was looking around to get my t-shirt and it was gone. So yeah, I'm sure someone just came and just took it. Um, but I mean, it's not a big deal. But yeah, that was the race. You know, I haven't had a rough race like that in a long time. Uh, for the rest of the boys, uh, yeah, JJ, he was definitely suffering out there. Uh, probably hurting a lot more than any of us. And even though he still had a 45 second PR, with his fitness, he definitely still could have been me. Uh, for Corey, he was saying, you know, it wasn't terrible. It wasn't great. He still PR'd. Then for Ty, I think Ty had the best uh, day out of all of us. It wasn't an amazing day for him, but he was saying that, you know, it was a solid race. He ran it really well, PR'd. And I think he was the only one who actually had a kick out of any of us, so. Yeah, even though it wasn't like an amazing day for any of us, um, it was definitely a needed experience to get us ready for conference coming up, which is actually next week. Uh, from what we know, it seems that conference is gonna be a similar course on grass, it has, you know, some hills. It'll probably be even harder because it's at high elevation. So yeah, it is good that we had this race because now we have some good takeaways. We know what not to do. And with the mistakes we made in the Kansas race, now we can have much better planning strategy to be able to race this next race a lot smarter so overall i am still happy with it yeah i much rather it would have blown up at this race than a conference but yeah that's pretty much it for the race uh like i was saying conference is away from now currently you know staying healthy training is going well yeah excited to see what we can do uh not gonna be filming conference but there definitely will be a regionals video and yeah with all that said uh, that pretty much wraps up this video uh, if you're not ready subscribe
also I want to shout out that uh, my mom watches these vlogs so maybe she'll see me in this and be like wow that's my daughter I was in the first class at Fort Ed Metro State College you were? 65 no. she's happy with the effort she's happy with the effort I think I can fit in the fridge that fit is crazy <laughs>